What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I would like to give you guys some Atlanta Falcons news. But if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content. Hit that like button for your boy. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys continuing to tune into my channel. Uh, but with that being said, if you would like to follow your boy on Twitter and Instagram, you can follow me at Jutalk Sports. If you would like to donate to my channel, you can donate to my cash app, uh, which is the dollar sign Jutalk Sports. Um, but with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So first off in Atlanta Falcons news, uh, left guard uh, Josh Andrews was placed on IR uh, with a broken hand. Um, he was looking like the starter heading into week one at that left guard position. Uh, but now he has broke his hand and had to be placed on IR. So I wish him a speedy recovery. And it looks like Jalen Mayfield uh, will be the starter heading into week one at that uh, left guard position. Uh, this is a huge opportunity for the rookie Jalen Mayfield. Uh, personally, uh, heading into the season, I did think that Jalen Mayfield would take that starting role at left guard. Um, I did think that the starting rotation on the offensive line heading to week one was going to be Matt Hennessy at the center position, um, Chris Lindstrom at the right guard position, uh, Jalen Mayfield at the left guard position, uh, Jake Matthews at the left tackle position, and Caleb McGarry at that right tackle position. And that looks like it's going to be the starting rotation uh, headed into week one against the Philadelphia Eagles. But this is a huge uh, chance for Jalen Mayfield to go in there and solidify himself as a great uh, left guard for us. We've been struggling at that left guard position for a couple years now, but this is a huge opportunity uh, for him as a rookie. And to be honest, I think that the best teacher uh, is experience. So actually getting out there on the field and playing in real, you know, live games, I believe is the best way uh, to improve as a player. So I do think that this is going to be great for a guy like Jalen Mayfield. Um, I feel like you can't learn that much just being on the bench as, as you can learn is going out there on the field and getting that experience. So this is a huge opportunity for Jalen Mayfield uh, heading into week one to nail down that start and left guard role. Um, also in Atlanta Falcons news uh, today, the Atlanta Falcons signed Wayne Gallman, uh, running back, a former running back of the New York Giants. And we released uh, Quadre Olison. Um, which was a really uh, a shocker to me or a surprise, even though Arthur Smith did say uh, when the 53 man roster came out that it wasn't an official 53 man roster, that they were waiting on the cuts from other teams. And they were going to him and Terry Fontenot was going to scour the free agency to see if it was any players they could bring in to improve our roster. And I do like this move of bringing in Wayne Gallman. Um, you guys know that I was a huge fan. Uh, Javion Hawkins, uh, who was cut from the team um, when we cut the uh, cut down the roster uh, to 80 players. Uh, Javion Hawkins was a player that got cut. But I believe that this is an upgrade. Uh, Wayne Gallman is an upgrade over Quadra Olison. I do think that Quadra Olison does provide some upside. But like I said it before, uh, Wayne Gallman is that change of pace running back that our Atlanta Falcons need. Um, I feel like on this roster, we had too many power backs on this roster. Uh, Mike Davis is a power back. Um, Caleb Huntley, who's on the pa uh, practice squad, is a power back. Cordell Patterson can do a lot of different things, but he's a physical running back as well. And I feel like we didn't have uh, that scat back, that guy who can catch passes out of the backfield and a guy who can um, be that speed guy, a guy who's not necessarily all power, but a guy who can hit the hole and a guy who can take it to the house if he hits a crease and Wayne Gallman is that guy. I do like this for uh, this signing by the Atlanta Falcons. Wayne Gallman was a guy who played uh, for Clemson um, in college. He did win a national championship uh, with that Deshaun Watson led uh, Clemson Tigers team. And Wayne Gallman did rush for a thousand yards in his junior and senior season. So Wayne Gallman is um, one of the better young running backs in the league. I do uh, believe that this is a really good signing by our Atlanta Falcons. 
I really like this signing because Wayne Gallman is a great, like I said, change of pace back, a guy who can catch the ball out of the backfield. Uh, last season, he rushed for about 700 yards um, with the New York Giants after Saquon Barkley got injured. He was the lead back. Uh, he averaged 4.6 yards a carry. And he's a guy that's about six feet, 215 pounds to 220 pounds. But I do think that he's an upgrade uh, over Quadra Olison and an upgrade over a guy like Javion Hawkins. I really believe the reason that Javion Hawkins was a guy that was cut is because he really couldn't block and protect the passer. When you bring him in on passing downs, he was a smallish running back. He wasn't good at pass protection. Um, and he really wasn't um, a special teams player. So you couldn't really use a guy like Javion Hawkins. He was basically a one-trick pony, a guy that you could throw the ball out to in space and he could basically um, you know, use his electrifying speed. But I really think that he was cut because of his size. And Wayne Gallman is just a bigger version of a Javion Hawkins. I do think that Javion Hawkins is more explosive and he's faster than a guy like Wayne Gallman. But Wayne Gallman is one of those guys – um, prior to Travis Etienne uh, going to Clemson, Wayne Gallman was that guy at Clemson that was the electrifying running back for them. Uh, he was their starting running back the year that they won the national championship in 2017. And if you go take a look at his stats, uh, he was one of the best running backs uh, in college football when he was playing with the Clemson Tigers. So I definitely think that this is a great signing by our Atlanta Falcons. And I wouldn't be surprised to see a guy like Quadra Olison possibly being brought back maybe on the practice squad or maybe if no one picks him up, if somebody gets nicked up uh, on this Falcons roster, he could be a guy that we pick up or another team may end up picking up Quadra Olison because he is a young, a very young running back. I believe this is only his third or fourth season uh, in the league. So I do think that Quadra Olison may still uh, be picked back up by the Falcons or picked up by another, uh, another team. But I definitely like this signing of Wayne Gallman. I really think that this is a sneaky pickup by uh, Terry Fontenot and Arthur Smith. And we know that Terry Fontenot is a guy who's coming from uh, the New Orleans Saints organization. And he's good at uh, picking up players that a lot of people sleep on. Um, if you look at the New Orleans Saints roster, um, Terry Fontenot was a scout for the New Orleans Saints for a lot of years uh, before he worked his way up. Uh, the latter uh, there in their organization before he became our GM. So Terry Fontenot and Arthur Smith have great eyes for talent. And I think that Wayne Gallman is going to definitely bring um, something different to our, our running back room. I think we, like I said, I think we just had too many power running backs and we didn't have that scat back, a guy uh, who can catch the ball out of the backfield and a guy who can be a change of pace running back. Um, and a guy who's just not all power. So I really like this signing. Uh, but with that being said, I'm going to have a lot more coming for you guys. Definitely stay tuned. Uh, it's been a lot of Atlanta Falcons news. I've been extremely busy lately, so I haven't been able to drop as many videos as I like. But I'm definitely going to have a lot more coming for you guys because our Atlanta Falcons are very busy right now in you know making transactions, bringing players in, releasing players. So expect a lot more coming, a lot more content coming from me. Uh, but with that being said, this has been your boy, Jew. Um, if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and you enjoy my content, please hit that subscribe button for your boy. But this has been your boy, Jew. I'll holler at you guys in the next video. Uh, the NFL regular season is a week away. It kicks off next Thursday. So I'm really excited uh, heading into week one where we will face the Philadelphia Eagles next Sunday. But with that being said, this has been your boy, Jew. I'll holler at you guys in the next video. It's always Falcons Nation. Rise up. Peace.